Hello to all and welcome to your March 7th on Into and Through March 8th of 2024 Spiritual Guidance Reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Black Tarot deck. Uh, illustrations by Victoria Iva, available from Dibri.com. So uh, let's go ahead and start. Dear Lord Spirit Guides and Angels. All right, so we ended the 5th and 6th of March video reading with uh, messages of judgment. So right off the bat, we're starting with the judgment card once again. Now, as a major arcana, this is Spirit saying, look at how far you've come, the things you have accomplished, the things that you have been through uh, that in some cases were very difficult. We are helping you to rise above all of that. And we will help you as well to make the highest, best decisions uh, during the 7th and 8th of March here. Now, in the thoughts position, we have what we had in the actions position during the 5th and 6th of March video reading. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, uh, which is our thoughts of uh, I've come so far. Uh, Spirit saying, remember to give yourself a pat on the back for uh, this opportunity to make some form of decision here. Um, I think on the 7th of March, uh, trust that when the Seven of Pentacles shows up, uh, there's this awareness that your efforts are indeed leading you into the direction of triumph, especially in the area of money, creativity, finance, and career. Now, in the relationship sector, we have the beautiful Nine of Pentacles. So in connection to another or others, there is coming this awareness between the 7th and 8th of March uh, that uh, some form of financial opportunity is paying off. It's in connection to another or others where there is wish fulfillment in the area of money. Now, in the creative aspects position, I think Spirit is saying to many air signs, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, uh, uh, fear not, because a doorway of triumph is coming as a result of your efforts. Uh, there's communication that is leading you into a financially independent and stable direction. And all you need to do is uh, maintain that emotional balance. Uh, no matter what sign you are, spirit saying when it comes to what you are creating for yourself, uh, maintain your boundaries with others, continue to remain focused uh, because things are coming to mind here. Decisions are being called for. Now in the actions position, we have the 10 of pentacles. Oh my goodness. We went from the seven to the nine to now the 10. So spirit saying that uh, during the 7th and 8th of March, there is this awareness of a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money and prosperity. Uh, there is great financial abundance, uh, something that feels as though it can last for the long term. The ability to uh, pay for, take care of, family, and so on. So in the emotional aspects position, we have a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Pentacles. We also saw this in the March 5th and 6th video reading. So there's this uh, uh, emotional fulfillment, excitement here because of an awareness of a path that is blessed. Some form of lump sum of money, win, inheritance, uh, stable and secure client. Uh, but there is this awareness that something went from zero to 10 and this path is going to continue to grow and prosper. Oh my goodness. So we have another gift from the universe regarding the path ahead in the form of the Ace of Wands. So we saw the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles on the fifth and sixth. Uh, we have uh, many that are recognizing here on the seventh and eighth of March that the path ahead is not only financially abundant, stable and secure, but is a path of victory. So yeah, there's decisions being called for, for sure here between the 7th and 8th of March. Now in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the Knight of Swords. So yeah, someone is coming in quickly and unexpectedly via a business or organization to deliver a truth of victory. Uh, and Spirit's just saying, you know, open yourself to that which is developing because uh, this passionate, exciting, abundant path is actually a gift from you to the universe, from the universe 
to you. Okay, so in the inner strengths position, we have the two of swords. Now, we had this before in the day-to-day -day aspects position, but spirit is giving the collective the strength of the two of swords to make a decision, right? So some decision may feel a bit difficult here, but spirit's saying this doorway with the seven of pentacles that's coming to mind here is definitely leading you towards a path of abundance for the long term, a path that is blessed. So it could just be that uh, some form of excitement shows up quickly and it puts the collective in this energy of indecision, right? As humans, we're like, oh my gosh, should I go into the direction of the Ten of Pentacles? Well, heck yes. So in a three card summary for additional confirmation and clarification, we've got the beautiful Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the King of Swords. All right, so we have a shocking, look at that, the tower energy is different from the death card, right? The death card is I'm bringing something to an end or something is ending, but the tower is something that transpires outside of us. And in this case, it's showing up with the beautiful 10 of cups, great emotional fulfillment, uh, great uh, wish fulfillment, uh, a great happily ever after type energy and another ace my goodness so this new path is abundant uh, it's victorious and exciting with the ace of swords so three aces means there is a successful victorious path ahead that is going to be very abundant with the ace of pentacles that we saw before so the queen of cups is basically spirit offering the collective this very intuitive energy uh, to trust that that which is coming in is indeed a blessing. Yeah, because with the Five of Swords, uh, we do have some form of inner conflict regarding this communication. But Spirit's saying, we're giving you the lover's energy, this passion, this excitement. Mm, we have an empress. So we have, in some cases, a motherly energy, uh, thinking about... The king of cups so there could be a soulmate connection here um, big changes and someone's just looking at a partnership uh, and is i think excited but unsure a little bit about making what feels like a big decision here so in um, by the end of the seventh going into the eighth of march we have the three of cups celebration and the strength card so spirits give giving the collective the strength to celebrate uh, this new path, this new connection, circumstance, situation. Yes, uh, there are in some cases a soulmate connection in the area of um, uh, Sagittarius with the temperance angel. Uh, there is great abundance. And again, I feel like someone is connecting with a soulmate uh, whereby uh, there's this natural ebb and flow. Uh, whereby there is with this temperance angel energy uh, assistance from spirit regarding balance. So yeah, someone may come in unexpectedly if you're single and spirit saying maintain your boundaries and trust that uh, we will guide you forward to make the right decision. When it comes to passion, um, there is abundance. So there could be a connection that's very abundant here that could lead you down a path of stability in the area of partnerships and that could be financial partnerships as well yeah someone here worked really hard and now it's time to create the next chapter of their life we have the three of wands in reverse i think someone's even in disbelief here that your proverbial ship has indeed come in now we do have someone here, again, we talked about air energy and now we have the King of Swords energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and the Nine of Swords. So someone is uh, conflicted a little bit, uh, not able to sleep at night, maybe because you need to talk to someone who's in a leadership position. So I am feeling like a new offer, opportunity, or direction is showing up and someone's having a hard time sleeping at night because you may have to leave a person's circumstance situation behind in order to move forward successfully. So remember, with the Two of Swords, this is Spirit giving the collective the strength at this time to make a decision that is putting you first, 
Okay, see here comes an offer of abundance and money with the six of spheres or pentacles. And again, the world card, like we saw in the 5th and 6th of March video. Spirit with the major arcana of the world is saying you with spirit's assistance are bringing things to a successful completion in some area. And now a beautiful portal is opening up. Yeah, I see a lot of passion and excitement, uh, but someone's holding the sword behind their back, the sword of truth. How do I communicate? Communicate my truth. Uh, well, follow your heart. Something feels very successful and exciting here. And if that's the case, follow your intuition into that direction. All right, so I decided to confirm and clarify with the Affirmators deck, dear Lord, Spirit Guides, and Angels. Yeah, so don't th take things personally, or maybe you're worried that someone else will, and that's what this judgment energy is about. Spirit saying, if someone talks unkindly to me, I'll remember that they have something going on that really doesn't have anything to do with me in some cases. Yes, communication. See, so a doorway is opening in the area of money, finance, and career that's going to uh, require some form of conversation here. So in the relationship sector, Spirit saying we are bringing energies of peacefulness, right? Uh, the Nine of Pentacles, again, is wish fulfillment in relation to another or others involving money. And this new direction is bringing in peace, tranquility, and an untroubled heart, right? There's something coming to mind that's very exciting and new in the subconscious position. Oh my, so we have abundance so definitely, Queen of Swords energy, male or female, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, there is definitely abundance coming in for them. Also for you, right? Uh, it's time to continue to set to meet goals in a very balanced way. Don't worry about the responses of others because Spirit is saying we are guiding you towards an untroubled heart. They're saying congratulations. You are due for a piece of abundance pie. Now, in the actions position, we have love. So, heck, you know, Ten of Pentacles, I think, is going to help relationships. Uh, guess what? I found a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm feeling very abundant, uh, and love is now a many splendored thing. Um, I am appreciating all the little things now because of this success, this abundance. Story of my life. I worked hard uh, to get to where I am. And I choose now to uh, make a, a, a story where even the tough parts have some sort of inner beauty. So it's an ultimate happy story with the Ace of Pentacles. I worked hard to get here and now I'm feeling the love, I'm feeling the abundance, and I'm feeling very generous. All right, so. We have the Ace of Wands, excitement and spirit saying, uh, when this abundant path opens up for you, uh, remember to give generously to those around you. And in some cases, no matter how much or little you have, uh, that is a message that as you give, so too shall you receive, right? Giving and, uh, and donating and helping others in a generous way will bring you good juju. All right, so in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the wonder. I am sitting in awe and wonder of this quick and unexpected communication that has brought me this energy of peacefulness. And it is wonderful to be in this state of wonder as I am a good audience to my life at this time as my life becomes better and better. So I hope someone doesn't take this communication personally. I am peacefully making decisions to move forward into a direction of abundance. So look at Spirit saying, even though you may be indecisive about how to communicate something to someone, it's the vitality of that which is unfolding that's going to give you the strength to do so. So I am healthy, vital, and strong. My radiant love of life is filling me with a healthy vital with healthy vital and strong cells right so if you've been worried about your health spirit sane it is this abundance that brings in this love that brings in this wonder awe and peacefulness that helps bring in healing or the releasing of health concerns all right so in a three card summary spirit saying again it's about communication connecting with others 
uh, through the ups and downs, has brought the collective uh, by the 8th of March uh, into this beautiful energy of beauty. We talked about this in the 5th and 6th of March video, where it is important to let your authentic light shine. Uh, trust uh, that there is gentleness when it comes to uh, ideal partnerships because of the options that have developed. Uh, someone may see that you're successful and want to come into commitment partnership contract or a deeper relationship with you uh, because they see that you are shining. So by the end of uh, March 8th of 2024, we have the collective, many of the collective, sitting in this energy of awareness that I am living a life to my ultimate potential. And I'm not going to judge others. I'm going to just trust that the magic that is manifesting is bringing me this courage like we talked about in the 5th and 6th of March video. I am courageous. And when fear shows up, I don't run away from it. I use my courage to conquer it. I have those difficult conversations. Trusting conversations, trusting uh, that, you know, the story of my life has led me to this point has led me to this abundance, has led me to this awe and wonder and vitality. All right, so I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Overall spiritual message regarding the circle spread and uh, the day of days of March 7th and 8th. So see, the healer of action is showing up. I feel like there is this mama energy, male or female, whose heart is open, who's feeling stable and secure, who's happy to be able to uh, feel vital and strong and able to care, give, provide for a child or children. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to, as long as your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. And you won't mind as long as you know that you are making a difference. Uh, so this card indicates uh, someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun. Or this could be you handling difficult situations with grace. So for some of you, this is also a message from Spirit to just allow love to grow and bloom around you. Because in some cases, there is a connection um, and a connection you've been waiting for. A very emotionally fulfilling experience uh, that you've waited for for a long time. And Spirit say, now's the time. Uh, the time has come. Make your choices on the 7th and 8th of March by listening to your heart and then follow the steps that you are being guided to take. For joy will lead you to a very vibrant and healthy life. So abundance is going to bring excitement, uh, but it's also going to bring peacefulness if you've been worried about your health, right? The excitement brings in these uh, vital and strong cells from the universe. Spirit's lifting you up to sit in awe and wonder of this abundant life you've been working for and towards. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the winter special which is a 15-minute, one-month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. Uh, but most importantly, I want to give a great big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. If you'd like to donate, I do have two links listed below this video, one in the form of PayPal and the other in the form of Cash App. Take care and God bless.